Yeah. Yeah. Rock your body. Rock the back. All right. Hey guys. I am filming. <laughs> I, ju I just need to like uh, make this monumental. This is a monumental moment. It is 3.39 and I'm filming. And I got energy. Why? Because I slept really good and I drank way too much coffee today. So you're welcome. I forgot to do a thumbnail. Please hold. I'll be with you momentarily. All right. <laughs> so I am here. You are there, and we are going to do, well, okay, let's do an outfit of the day, probably the same one you saw in the last video, different day, same me, Polaro, because it's cozy, Amazon tank, I don't know. Uh, anyways, today we're doing a, a Torrid haul. Now I know what you're saying, Rhonda, Torrid, she's expensive, I know, but... They had like a new style, new you, whatever, whatever, and everything was like 50% off, 60% off. It was something, and I was just like, hmm, okay. I don't remember what I got. It's kind of been sitting here, so here's hoping it's really good. Uh, so if you're new here, welcome. My name's Rhonda. I think we did just go over that, but over here, we embrace the curves, all right? We don't let the number on the tag, or, wait, no. We don't, yeah, we don't let the number on the tag, wait, redo. We don't let the number on the scale or the tag in our britches define our happiness. All right, maybe I am a little bit more tired than I thought. All right, so like I said, I purchased this at some point in time in my life, and I don't remember what I got. I don't think it was too much. It's, it's a good haul. Oh, okay, I think I got more than I thought. <laughs> Cool. All right, so if you are new to my channel, welcome. I have my measurements down in my description box below. I'm just gonna address right quick a little question that we've been getting. Rhonda, did you lose a little weight? Yes. Um, not because I'm like following a strict diet or nothing like that. Um, I've just really been working on my inflammation and my uh, insulin resistance. That is all. I'm not taking anything. Honestly, I told you all I've been drinking uh, chia seeds since I broke my collarbone because it has so much calcium and iron and all of that stuff in there that it's also been helping with the inflammation. So I have updated my measurements down below for you all. And um, yeah, so now I'm not doing nothing else about it other than, like I said, I've just been working on the inflammation, the insulin resistance, oh, imbalance in my hormones. But again, I do everything naturally. Um, th th that is it. So it's like taking vitamins and doing chia <laughs> and walking for 15 minutes a day on my treadmill. That's it. That's all. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Still embracing these curves. That ain't going nowhere. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the first thing. I'm all, if I'm looking over here, y'all, I literally have this with my phone on it because I have life 360 I am a helicopter mom I don't care judge me whatever um and I'm I'm literally watching my kid get to work because <laughs> I am that mom so yeah I keep like looking over here it helps me to um like I feel like because my kids are working they're older and they're like busy 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 I feel like I film more because it takes my mind off of it <laughs> so all right, I don't know where I'm going with things. We're like five minutes in. So some of y'all have been asking me, what is in here? Oh, it's a gel doohickey. Some of y'all have been asking me to get like some slacks for the office. I don't work in an office, but if I did work in the office again, I, I felt like this would be a really nice pair of pants. Now, I'll tell you, the price isn't on here, but they were stupid expensive, and I would not have bought them had they not been on sale. Let me let me double check real quick. Where are you at, kid? All right, they're at work. We're good. Little heart. I love it. You can send like little thingies. Hold on. Oh, Haley gets a heart too. There we go. Um, but they were crazy expensive, but the reviews were really good on here. Um, and I feel like they, it's called the Studio by Torrid. I got them in a 12 regular um, because I've been bouncing. Because, I don't know, y'all. When I broke my collarbone, I was a solid 16. 
like solid. Um, but I always tell you all, don't ever bother with the number um, because to me the number just used to mess with my head. I literally go off of measurements. So per the measurements, I picked up a 12 regular. I'm short. I'm 5'3 on a good day. I just don't like the way petites feel on me, so I go with a regular. So they feel like they have that bombshell skinny uh, band, which I absolutely love. It kind of gives you a little bit of compression in there. They do have like a double or a button and then a clasp and then a zipper. And the material feels to be really, really nice. As always, I'll have everything linked and listed down below for you all if you are interested in picking any of this stuff up. And if you do, thank you. I appreciate that because um, it helps pay my bills. So thank you. All right, so next I did get another pair of slacks because somebody said, you, you do pick out a lot of dresses, Rhonda. And I'm like, um, Miss Mayhem, it's because I'm an apple bottom jeans, boots with the, just joking. Um, I just kind of carry my, my business in the belly. And it's so much easier to just get like an A-line flowy little dress to fit this. So, but I, I listened and I got a pair of pants again for y'all for the office. And these are really nice. These, I feel like are gonna keep me warm in this crazy Kentucky weather. But yes, I'm 150 and I'm gonna complain about it. Kentucky, listen, it's a Friday when I'm filming this. The past three days with you have been absolutely amazing. You've literally made my heart so happy with the warmth that you have given me. Every time I step out onto the porch and wave to my children, see you later when they go to school or to work or whatever. Then I stepped onto the porch this morning and froze my niblets off and I was like, nope, I will wave to you from the window because this is horse hockeys. Can you please get it together? I don't care that it is January. I love warmth. And I know what you're saying, go to Florida. I would, but I still be over here raising my family. Gotta finish that off before I make it to Florida. So anyways, uh, these are really cute. They are a wide leg where the other pair of pants were more of like a, um, a straight line. You'll see it when I try it on. I probably don't already try them on for you. But I thought these were really cute. And I got a, it's all coming back to me now. I got a, a black, is this it? I don't think this is it. I already have like a Harper top. Watch this be another one. Um, but yeah, no, it's not. I liked this because I wanted the, the different texture material. Hold on, I dropped stuff. Nothing new there. Uh, I really liked the shiny because the Harper, the one I have is more of like a matte type of finish. So I liked this. It reminded me of the red blouse that I got. Now this blouse I did get in a zero. The red one I ended up returning because it was like in a one and it was a little too falling off my shoulders and everything. So I went ahead and got this. The red one, by the way, is freaking on sale. Yeah, like a good, good sale. So anyways, I picked it up in this like satiny color. I <laughs> got a delivery. Judgment free sign. Okay, so the top, 10 out of 10. I love it. I think it's silk. I, I didn't check. I'll have it listed. It feels like a satiny silk. It feels amazing. I do have my Torrid uh, no underwire bra on. I love those. And the pants, honestly, they I feel like I almost could have sized down in them, which is really weird. Like my, my Torrid bombshell skinny jeans are 12 and they fit perfection. These are fitting really, really odd, really odd. So, I don't know, if you're my measurements, I'd probably, in all honesty, I'd, I'd probably go ahead and size down one to a 10, which I don't typically in my pants, that's not what I'm wearing, but I don't know. So I think they're really cute. I mean, I literally feel like I could go in and command a freaking office right now and be like, okay, to whom it may concern. You know what I mean? I love it. So I really think this is a great professional outfit. I mean, you guys asked for business cash? You're welcome. You need these. These are really cute. But like I said, they do fit weird because this is normally 12s on me at Torrid are not baggy like this. So definitely go ahead and size down on these. Um, one of the reviews did mention something about the pockets around the pocket area being weird. 
So I think this is exactly what she was talking about. And I always, like I said, this is where I carry it. So it's really, it's weird. So just size down on these pants, but mmm, 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 mmm. These, I'm, I'm taking over the boardroom. Like watch out, Susan, I'm coming for you. All right, so these are a 12. This is what I'm talking about. These run big. So this is exactly what I was talking about. Like I'm, I'm wearing my size 12, which I know I said, like numbers don't matter, but my 12 toward bombshell skinny jeans fit like this. All right, so if you, and they have, they're stretched to these pants as well. Um, so if you want them baggier, then definitely size up to a 14, but I love the way these 12s fit. They don't, they're not too tight in the waist. So these particular ones that I'll have listed, it's the Comfort Flex Waist Slim Taper Pants. Um, these are in a 12 and you guys saw how baggy and odd that they fit. So definitely size down in these. These I would say 100% true to size. I freaking love these. I love the pattern. I love the texture, different textures. I just paired it with a black pair of heels. I mean, you could do whatever. I love that it's kind of more of that bell style type of slacks. I love this freaking outfit. I just feel like it is so freaking sophisticated. It would be perfect for the office, what have you, you know, like, mm, mm, mm. I can't stop dancing. I mean, sorry. I'm like, dance like nobody's watching. Also putting this on the internet so everybody can see it. Okay, let's move on. And then this, I think, here's one thing I'd like you to work on toward, all right? You showed me a really cute dress. It's not this one. Okay, how many things can I flip and drop? But the belt wasn't available. That I don't like. Okay, so this is really cute. Um, this is because I, I was craving warmth. So you can wear it on your shoulders or off your shoulders. It's a jumper romper doohickey and it's wide leg, but it looks like it's gonna be a dress, but it's not. And I thought it was really cute. I picked it up in a zero zero because there is a ton of stretch. And one thing I've learned from picking up items from Torrid is a lot of the times with this kind of like super thin, buttery material you can size down because it's always really really stretchy so and another thing that I find with Tord that I'm realizing probably because I'm on the petite side of things that if I just size down on a regular size it fits me better kind of like what a petite would fit me as you know what I'm saying I love this <laughs> so I still have my torrid bra on I just kind of moved the straps down um, ignore my collarbone lump <laughs> that's my food poisoning scar but oh my gosh this belt so here's what I'm gonna tell y'all I have it at, like where I'm smallest up here I wish I had not listened to the reviews because people I think are wearing it down lower. Um, my vision for this belt from for day one ever was always to wear it up higher. So I, with that said, I should have done a zero zero versus a zero in this belt because it is kind of overlapping. Um, and there's a lot of stretch back here on this belt. But this outfit has pockets. I feel like this is so freaking cute because it's a versatile piece. You could dress it up with different shoes, your hair, your hat, jewelry, what have you. But this is like a staple. Like everybody needs that little black dress. I feel like everybody needs that little black jumper, romper, doohickey. However, if you do pee a lot, it might be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But other than that, I mean, I don't ever leave the house long enough to have to worry about like up and down up and down you know what I mean so this is so cute it's super stretchy so I'm really glad that I went with the size that I did go with which was actually I think it was a maybe I went with a yeah I went with a zero zero on this and I think it is perfect the belt is the zero which if you are my measurements go with a zero zero if you're wearing it high like this I don't have a long torso so I feel like wearing it up like this kind of gives that illusion 
Plus, because I'm more of an apple body, like my bottom jean, jeans, jeans with the fur, fur. Okay, um, with that being said, <laughs> I try and give the illusion that I'm a little bit taller than I am. Don't pay attention to the door. My husband always says when he's watching back these videos, he's like, I never realized how short you are until I see you're by the door. And then I'm like, dang. And I'm like, whatever. But this... It's so like, I freaking love it. I've literally got some really cute outfits. Okay, this was really talking to me because I thought the color was really pretty. I like that burgundy pinky. Burgundy. All right, you know what? I upload at 9 p.m. Eastern time every time that I drop something. You know what? Maybe you might not want to. Because by the time this video is done, you might be a little like, oh. So, anyways. I thought this was really cute. And I'm really hopeful that it's not too crazy long. I think we're going to be okay. What size did I go with? I think I went down a size. Yeah, I did a zero zero um, on this too because of the same reason I just said. I feel like there's stuff, the way it runs on my shortness, I need to size down. So it, I, like, so it doesn't wear me, I wear it. You know what I mean? So this feels so freaking nice and soft. It's almost like a soft little like cashmere feel to it. Is that, is that what it's made out of? I don't know. Let's see. I'm not, uh, I'll just link it. We can figure it out later. I love this sweater dress. It is so freaking comfortable. The quality of this material is so Nice. Now, I didn't put any, like, shapermint on or anything like that. I just have, like, my skims on underneath. But that is the key, friends. If you are my measurements, y'all, or actually if you're just petite in general, size down for the Torrid dresses. That That is, all these years that I've been shopping Torrid, I'd always just be like, ah, oh, it doesn't fit. Size down. Size down if you are petite, and it will fit you. I feel like for once, this, I'm wearing the dress. The tour dress is not wearing me, and that's always an issue that I have. Like, how many times have I tried getting, like, the skater skirts or the skater dresses, and I, I buy my size, not going off measurements, just assumption, and it's hanging on my body. Size down, it'll fit. This has a ton of stretch. It is perfect. Now, and I guarantee you, like if I were to actually go with the size that, you know, I would have thought, it would have been too long and probably hit right where my boots are. Which by the way, if you like these boots, these are from my last Shein Curve haul. These are amazing. These are in a size 40, which I think comes in at like an eight on Shein. And some of y'all were asking like, how are they around my calves? They fit well, like I have extra room, but I will say maybe size up one if you have wide calves. I've never measured mine. Do you guys want me to measure them? Hold on, I got a measuring doohickey. I remember one time I was watching Sarah Ray Vargas and um, she knew the size of her calf. And I'm like, well, shoot, I, I don't know the size of mine. So let me just tell you all just so you have a little reference. So the biggest part of my calf, okay, this one's a 15. I, I don't know what a normal one is. Wow, we're, we're getting real classy over here. Just, uh, all right, let's see what this one is. All right, they're both 15s, so huh, I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's normal or not. Um, so if you have a 15 inch calf, and you buy a size 8, they should fit you just fine. <laughs> Alright, the next item in here is this really feely good dress. And the material is super nice and light and soft, like lightweight, airy type of material. Like this is the kind that I want my pajamas in. You know what I mean? Because it's just so nice and soft. It's like that material after you shave your legs, you want to be like walking through a field because it's going to be so nice and soft. Ooh, yeah, I like that. So this dress is in a zero zero. I thought it was really cute. And the pair of nude boots, hold on, they're sitting right here. I 
thought would be cute or a pair of black boots but depending on the season like right now January it's cold as sin now so I'd probably go with black boots but oh my gosh you know what Shein has a pair of pink suede boots that would be so freaking beautiful with this dress I want the boots now I need to go pick up the boots to go with this that would be so cute oh that's really cute okay hold on almost done probably not hold on I love this dress this dress feels amazing I was a little nervous about the shoulders for the size because there's zero stretch it fits like it fits perfect actually like I'm, I'm because I think why because this will come up so that's why I can get away with it but there's zero stretch in this dress and it, I love it honestly I love it with these boots I love it with these boots I probably would pair like a little hat the same color as these boots or maybe just a black hat and I think it'd be really cute I love how comfortable this dress feels like it's one of those dresses where I just want to walk around like this but I love the fact that it's kind of like that Harper style and I mean it literally to me is the Harper style made into a dress and the Harper style tops are like my favorite tops from Tord. I don't even know how many I have in my closet right now because they I just love the way they fit I love that like oversized like boyfriend type of t-shirt style dressiness you know but the way oh this is so freaking adorable I love it and of course you could always change it up and put the other belt with it if you wanted like you could totally like go with a different look with that belt that would be cute too that honestly kind of dresses it up even more I actually like this belt with it so this is a really good versatile belt I just need to return it and get a size down so that way it like I can wear it up here better but everybody needs this dress this dress and here's the one thing that I absolutely love is do you see how it like comes up literally like your man's oversized dress shirt I freaking love that and then it's longer up here torrid this I, I want I won't ever dress like this I just I love it does it have no pockets okay that's fine that's fine okay this was the dress that I was talking to you all about that had the really cute belt with it but I couldn't find the belt anywhere so I'm like well and the only brown belt that I had um, my 22 year old came over and she needed it for something and I said well you can just have it because I I didn't like the way it fit so I don't have a brown belt I'm looking I need one of those stretchy ones maybe I do have a stretchy one I don't know I'll be digging but I love this dress it is so like a tea time type of dress and you know I'm thinking hat I'm thinking warmth I'm thinking oh my gosh this stupid 30 degree weather is BS um, this is a zero zero as well uh, read the reviews because people have been really good at Torrid leaving comments letting you know like hey this runs true to size hey this runs a little large like I told you all I literally just stick to measurements I don't go in like mm, I'm always a one I'm always a two I'm a zero whatever I literally just go by measurements and the fact that I've purchased from Torrid so often that I kind of know how a lot of the stuff fits me and when it comes to flowy or like that skater cut type of dealio I always size down and I'm always happy with it and the only belt that I found that I was hoping could go with this and the jumper is this one but I don't remember I think the reviews were not that good on this belt to be honest with y'all I, I can't I can't remember so I like the fact it's got stretchy I want to say I have this in brown I did go with a zero on this but I thought it would be cute because it, it'll cinch up here. I feel like it'll go with a lot of outfits. Hey, well, this is not what I thought. So I thought I was going to be able to get away with this belt. The brown belt that it showed on the website 
definitely would have been better, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it on the side at all. As far as this dress goes, let's chat. Okay, don't like this because the dress is in a zero zero and it's lined with this thingy and this thingy, this, this thingy is giving me armpit wedgies and then making it, I'm sensory short circuiting right now. I don't like how tight this feels. Um, so I should have done a zero in this particular dress. Um, I thought because of the sleeves, I thought, oh, I'll go with the zero zero and you know, that way it won't be too, no. Go with the zero on this dress if you are, my measurements are close to it because I have armpit wedgies out the wazoo and the problem is, is I'm pulling this slip down and so it's choking me up here and it's touching my neck too much. So <laughs> overall, I like the dress. I think it's cute. I don't like it right now on my like my winter skin. <laughs> I need my summer skin. And then I would like, I think it would be more complimentary um, or do like a sunless tan. Oh my Lord Jesus, I, I can't, I can't. So hold on, well, let's go ahead and film this outro so I can get this dress off. Fun fact, that's, that's how I do my, my outros. The last thing I try on is typically what I end the video in. So anyways, and that is all for today's tour and haul. We had almost a whole winning haul. Um, until this. I would say this was the only true fail other than this one first pair of slacks, but that was just a sizing weird thing. So I don't know. I think that the pieces that I found were really, really cute. As always, never pay full price at Torrid. I mean, no offense Torrid, but like your prices are freaking ridiculous. Uh, so I only shop, like I said, when there's deals going on using my toward cash, all of that, because it's just, it's not worth it to me unless it's on sale. So I will try and remember to link these boots for you all down below. If I happen to forget, um, just know my last Shein curve haul that I did, they were mar they were in there. Um, and over at Shein, code HOTMESS15 will save you 15% on your purchases over there. It's not an affiliate code or nothing like that. Make sure to use Rakuten. You'll get two to 10% cash back depending on what they're doing that day. So if you made it to the end of today's that crazy quirky video, thank you so much. I definitely appreciate it. If you are into makeup or makeup subscription unboxings, check out my other channel, Hot Miss Mama MD. And I do some like cooking in the kitchen. And if you're interested in seeing some easy peasy meals for your fam bam over there, Check out Hot Miss in the Kitchen. I'll have it all linked down below as well as everything from this tour at haul will be linked down below for y'all as well. And I will be back with part two of my Shein Curve haul. I've got a couple new brands to um, that I'm going to haul for you all. I'm really excited about them. Uh, they're very new to me. I'd never heard of them. Some of you guys had actually recommended them and then they had reached out. So I was really excited. So I'm going to go ahead and do those two hauls later this month. So just stick around. You never know what you're going to get over here. Oh, and when the camera was off, I did drop another one of those um, gel packets. So <laughs> hope you're still with me. All right. I'll check y'all. I'll check y'all out. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Until next time. Sorry, I'm really like in my head right now. I'm like, if this freaking thing touches me one more time. Okay. Kisses on Kentucky. Bye. I should slow down